Well, hi. It's Thursday and uh, I'm out with Lyra. I've taken a moment to stop and sit on the on the grass, actually. I don't often do that. And just think about a few things that are well, going through my mind. It's a sad day um, in a number of ways. A, a very dear friend um, lost his life today. Uh, he'd been battling prostate cancer for a good number of years and um, today was the day that uh, the wonderful Joe Maiden stopped looking after gardens on earth and has uh, gone to look after gardens in the wider wider universe. He was a very special man and I'm uh, very very grateful to be able to to call him a friend. Um, we had a number of uh, dealings together and discussions and uh, he was lovely, absolutely beautiful, wonderful man, gorgeous family and uh, yeah, very special. And at the same time, um, a very close friend, um, Marcel is, is in hospital in Preston with his family around him, struggling to hold on to his life. Uh, he had a stroke on Monday and um, it's not been good. Uh, he, it was a severe stroke and he's, uh, he struggled. He's had um, an operation on his brain to remove some pressure and um, yeah, we're all hoping for the best. Uh, but it's a strange day and it's actually interesting that behind me I've got these big heavy ominous clouds uh, in the front of me. I've got the sun. I think uh, that's probably something that we need to look at, is that in every event there's a bright outlook. It's hard to see it sometimes where it was. In Joe's case, uh, he, oh, he was just an amazing man. He was. Uh, he presented uh, Tim and Joe's uh, gardening program on a Sunday morning, which uh, has been going for years and years and years. I only found it about I don't know, maybe, probably about 10, maybe 11, 12 years ago, as long as I've been here. And uh, what a load of fun. I tried very hard to listen to it as often as I could, to the extent that even though I don't travel into West Yorkshire anymore, I still listen to Radio Leeds in the kitchen because that's where I could pick up Tim and Joe on a Sunday, or where I could. Um, yeah. He's, uh, he's left an amazing legacy and he's uh, helped so many wannabe gardeners like myself um, just to understand gardening, but with a sense of humour and uh, just uh, his own characteristic, which was brilliant. Um, so yes, there's, uh, there's always good things that do come out of, out of the tough. What is the saying that goes, uh, strength comes through adversity. I've lived with that for years and uh, I've always embraced embraced that um, outlook. Um, yeah, and it's, I suppose it's, uh, it's a sad day, um, but at the same time it's a, it's a day to really remember the good times and the good things. The Harrogate Flower Show starts tomorrow and Tim, uh, sorry, Tim would always be there, but uh, Joe was the man. He was the gardening man. This was his veg show. Uh, he always had the most amazing exhibit of vegetables, and uh, he was Mr. Veg Man. Did his talks, had his displays, was always accessible, and uh, it was it's one of two times in the year when I knew I would get the biggest of big hugs from from Joe. Uh, always saw him on at the flower shows and this is going to be an interesting one this year without him. But times change and people move on and his work here is done. Yeah. Um, I think that's uh, that's my message really today is uh, keep going, look for the brightness and uh, there's always a good time somewhere. Uh, and. Uh, Lyra's with me here today again, and uh, she's looking at some other dogs that are coming onto the field. 
today we see her in her, her all her fluffiness, but tonight she has a, a grooming session, so hopefully she looks a bit smarter and brighter tomorrow. Whether I post anything tomorrow or not, I don't know, but we'll see. Um, blessings, and to everybody who's struggling with some sadness and uh, challenges, change your perspective if you can, have a look at the good things that have come out of it or what you can remember on the bright side and um, have a good day. Love it all.